What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today, I wanna to talk to you about this. The Mealy Wall of Noise from Walrus Audio. Now this is a brand new pedal from my friends over at Walrus that's inspired by the world of retro games. Now at its core, Mealy is an amazing sounding analog multi-mode distortion paired with a great sounding DSP based reverb. But where the heart and soul of this pedal is, is of course in the joystick, once again inspired by retro games. If you've ever played video games back in the arcade, this style of joystick will be immediately familiar to you and it feels like a pleasure to use. The idea behind Melee is that by having both these effects tied to a joystick, you're able to constantly move around and create live automation and essentially use the pedal more like an instrument than an effect that you just turn on and leave. In the intro track you heard, I created all of the distorted and reverb sounds using the melee, and I don't think I would have been able to get those leads and melodies sounding so organic and alive if it weren't for the ingenious joystick on the melee that let me write in all of this automation live while I was playing. It really adds another level of creativity and control over your sound, and it's just really fun to play in when you're recording. So today let's figure out how the Melee works and how we can use it with synthesizers. But before we do, Walrus Audio did send over this pedal for me to check out and make a video on, but they don't have any say over the content of this video, nor are they paying me. So the best way for you to support this channel so I can continue making videos like this is for you to like and subscribe or go in the description and stream my original Miles Away music. Thanks so much, let's get started. So with the Melee, Walrus Audio have curated three amazing sounding distortions. Let's check them out now. For the first one, and now the second, and finally the third. I find myself preferring the first to the third, but all three modes have their uses. Next up, similarly, we have three different lengths of reverb. We have a short reverb, a mid-sized one, And my favorite of the three, a long ambient decay reverb that just goes on almost forever. Melee also has three completely different reverb algorithms which can drastically alter your sound. So starting off, the one that you've heard the most so far because it's my favorite is going to be our pink ambient reverb. This is a huge reverb capable of massive trails and engulfing your chords into an angry wash of sound, which is great for soaring melodic lines or shoegaze driven chord progressions. Next up, we have our octave down reverb, and this one's probably the most drony of the three, and probably the best for creating uh, ambient drone industrial music, uh, where you're not going to be focusing too much on the melodic content. We have our final mode here with the blue LED, the reverse delay with feedback.
With this mode, we can add reverse reverb trails back into our signal to create gentle melodies or to push into reverse feedback overload. Because of the great amount of precision that the joystick on Mili gives us, this pedal really lends itself well to a live performance tool and it sounds especially good if you're into cinematic film score or ambient or shoegaze music. So to finish off this video, I'm going to show you guys a live jam I made of me essentially playing Mili over top of a drone for a film score style of sound. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much to Walrus for sending me the pedal. I had a ton of fun and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.